And here's what it looks like. It's built right into the Music app, but rather than tell you about it, I'd love to show it to you. I've created, so you can see the songs that are trending on Twitter right now, or even the songs that you guys are all gonna hear this week at WWDC. But I feel like summer songs. So you just tap. On this artist or song. I can easily skip to the, see what's the next song. I'll go back to stations, but it's not just the featured stations that we provide. You can create your own stations. Here are some that I previously created. But I feel like doing something new. Now, our music team is providing you with hundreds of stations based on alternative, country, classic rock, but I feel like doing something a little more specific. How about some Led Zeppelin? with a great Led Zeppelin song. Um, let's go ahead and see what else is on this station. And a great thing is I can always modify the station. I can just tap the star and I can say play more songs like this or never play this song or add it to my wish list. Now I like this so let's play some more songs like this. Now another great feature of iTunes Radio is it keeps track of all of the songs that you're listening to across all the stations all your devices and you can get to them by just tapping history. You can see them all here, you can preview and buy right from there. And that's iTunes Radio. So iTunes Radio is built into iOS 7. It works on your iPhone, your iPod Touch, and your iPad. It's also built into iTunes on your Mac and PC and even in your living room built into Apple TV. <laughs> iTunes Radio is free with ads, and if you're an iTunes Match subscriber, it's completely ad free. <laughs> We're starting in the US, and we'll be adding other countries over time, and that's the new music app on iOS 7, it is the best music player we have ever done. Thank you. Yeah.